Hi everyone, this is Sammy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little long tail pixie hat. So let's get started. To make this hat, I'm going to work with a 6mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. So I'm going to start with a foundation chain that wraps around the head. To make a foundation chain, start with a slip knot. And to start making my chain, I'm just going to pick up the yarn, pull it through that loop. Pick up the yarn, pull it through, and that is how you make your foundation chain. And just keep working until this will wrap around the head. And there's my foundation chain, and just make sure that it wraps around the head. And now I'm going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. So to do that, I'll just slide it through my fingers, keeping the chain from twisting. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, to make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert through the next stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked all the way around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join in the top of the chain 2. And now I'm going to chain 2 and turn my work. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the chain 2. So I'm going to go off camera and do that, and then I'll come back and show you how it looks and how to reduce for the top of the hat. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked five rows, and here's how that will fit. So you can see that I need to start reducing now for the peak of the hat. And to do that, I'm going to chain two and turn. And now I'm going to skip every fifth stitch. So I'm going to double crochet. Now that chain 2 takes the place of the first double crochet, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is the stitch that I'm going to skip. So I'm going to start as though I was making a double crochet, and I'm just going to pull up one loop from that stitch, and then I'm going to go into my next double crochet, and when I pull my yarn through, I'm going to pull it through three of those stitches, and then finish my double crochet. And that will fill in that a little bit. So again, I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So I'm going to go as though I'm doing a double crochet, and I'm going to pick up that yarn, pull it through, and then go to the next stitch, pick up the yarn, and pick up the yarn, and pull it through three, and then finish my double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row and I've begun to decrease just that little bit. And I'm going to repeat that until I only have a little bit of stitches left on the row. So I'm going to chain two and turn, double crochet in four, and then decrease on the fifth. So that's one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as many rows as I need to decrease for the peak. Okay, I've gone ahead and reduced until the hat is pretty much closed up. If you wanted to, you could just crochet a few extra rows without any more decreases if you wanted to make the peak longer. And now you can fasten off and weave the yarn end into the finished work. And I'll put a link below on how to make a pom-pom. So you can just attach the pom-pom to the top of the hat. Detach that at the end of the hat. And there you go, there's an easy crochet hat that you can make for any size. Christmas, you can make this in red, put the pom-pom in white, and then just add one row of white along the bottom. To add a border along the bottom, I am simply attach the yarn, lock it in place with both the yarn end and the working yarn. Take one more chain stitch. So just work in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. Slip stitch to join. 
and then fasten off and weave the yarn ends into the finished work. To make this flower, you're going to chain 30. One, two, three, four. And single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the chain. Okay, I went ahead and I single crocheted in each stitch across the row. For a larger flower, you simply start with a longer foundation chain, and I'm going to thread one of my yarn ends into a yarn needle. Then I'm just going to start rolling this strip into a circle like that. I'll turn it around and then just pass that yarn through all those layers and just go back and forth several times. Tie these two yarn ends into a knot. And if this yarn end is long enough, you can use that to sew the flower onto the hat. And then on the front, you can just sew a button in the center and then you can attach the flower to the hat.